this most recent record is the most records we've ever done with one particular lineup, including the original lineup, anything, you know, this is, this is solidified this lineup as, you know, the, the lineup that has done the most recording together. But we also did it at the same studio, Audio Hammer with the same uh, producer, Jason Sukoff. And um, originally it was supposed to be three records. Um, it was a, a Wolf trilogy and um, it got sidetracked on the last record. The concept just kind of changed and um, we put Wolfie on the back burner, so to speak. Uh, or, or I can't say we could cage him because you can't, you can't cage Wolfie. <laughs> For this record, we weren't really sure if we were going back to Jason. I mean, but when, I mean, to me, the initial demos, right when I started hearing it, I, I kind of thought, I think we should go back to Jason because of the way the song sounded. It sounded, it needed his touch. I think, I think Rob realizes that there's not too many people that will put up with it <laughs> like, like Jason does. <laughs> I think I'm, he's, he's got me hypnotized. So I just, no, I have no choice. Okay, over to Jason. But honestly, like, I mean, none of us are a, a bed of roses to, to, to work with sometimes. So I think it's a, there's a lot of comfort there with Jason, you know. Um, He's very patient, and uh, he doesn't lose his cool or yell or or make you feel uncomfortable. I mean, he makes you feel uncomfortable, but that's just the, the weird shit he says and his jokes. It's going to be the, basically the same answer as it was on every other album as to why we came back, is that we, first and foremost, we, we like the final product. I mean, that's the most important thing, is how it comes out in the end. Um, it just came out how we like it, so I didn't really want to fix what's not broken kind of situation. I guess the reason why we go back to Audio Hammer is um, there's just something magical that clicks between Jason's style of production and the crisp and clarity of it and the biting tones he gets that are, it's very modern, so to speak, for a thrash, for a thrash production. Jason's got a good, he's got his finger on the pulse as far as what's happening in metal today. So all of us are I, I can't call them throwback kids because they were there when it happened, but I'm kind of a throwback kid myself. I'm not a kid anymore, but I listened to music about a generation earlier than my own. And so Jason doesn't really listen to the previous generation's music. He listens to this generation's music, mostly. I'd say probably starting at Rest in Peace forward. <laughs> Actually, probably Rest in Peace transform 10, 10 years later, then he starts. He's a relatively young lad compared to us. Um, so he's kind of got his his pulse on uh, you know things that are modern, you know technology, ideas, sounds. Whereby I'm not really I'm not really digging into tech stuff or techno like things that are advancing in the production world. So he's bringing that to the table and teaching me things along the way in production. Uh, but what he uh, what he really is able to do is kind of uh, push us out outside of our box. Uh, I think given our own devices, we'd probably stick to some of the conventional scales and he's gonna get us using more diminished scales, finding some of the darker and more evil notes. So he's, um, he always kind of pushes that, like sometimes he, he wants us to get rid of the happy note. <laughs> so he's really good about getting us to find you know, the dark note or the satanic note <laughs> or the black note. We built up a rapport with him, a friendship with him, I guess a, you know, a, a brotherhood with him. And with each record, it got a lot stronger. We're, we're at home there, so we don't have to like try to break things in and like get used to stuff or whatever. We just get in there and just get to work, which I kind of like too, so it, it tends to work out. I think the production varies from, out, from record to record, even though it's the same you know, core people doing it. It's, it they, they all vary and they all have their own personality, and again, I think it's because of our style of writing and we always throw kind of curveballs into our songwriting within the thrash, I guess, umbrella, so to speak. And uh, this this next one's, or the new one's no different. And because of that, uh, we went back. We didn't realize we were gonna go back for a fourth time, but we did. And um, it was a lot of work. We are tighter than ever, but you know, as with every record, the, there's tension in the studio, but it's creative tension and I think you can hear the, the, the tension and the urgency and uh, it, 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 
We're very proud with what we ended up with. And I think the productions, to me, it's the, the, the brightest and most biting production of all the four. It's my favorite production of all the four records we've done with Jason. So that says something right there. Everyone's just comfortable with him. He's comfortable with us. And I think, you know, we just needed his touch for this record. And it just felt right to go back to him for the fourth time.